Holy shit, guys, I just saw something I have to talk about it with you right now. This is another first impressions video on the new TV series come out in fall, The Flash. Yeah, so the trailer for The Flash starts out where I guess The Flash is this kid who many years ago that some dude, some bolt of lightning killed his mother and we all know who the bolt of lightning is. It's the, you know, Mega Flash. At least it looked like Mega Flash. It was a flash of lightning and then you saw the character kind of body. It was yellow. So I'm thinking, Mega Flash. Something killed his mother and he's just like, oh my god, what killed my mother? Something really weird is going on. And then it skips years later where I think he's a cop. It really does look like he's a he's going to be a cop in the new show, which is kind of weird because I remember him being a scientist in the comic books. But whatever, adaptions is what we're talking about. Anyway, he becomes a cop and then he has to start investigating all this other shit. And he's still trying to investigate the death of his mother and all this weird shit going on. And then one day, some big ass explosion just happens and then boom! Some big ass smoke cloud comes over, takes him over, and just boom, kill, almost kills him. He gets struck by lightning, and then all these chemicals mix in, and he just dies, and then boom, come back up to life. He gets dragged into this lab, and everybody's like, what happened? He's like, I got hit by lightning. And he's like, what the fuck's going on, man? And then apparently he gets abs, and his body's getting really strong and everything, and apparently he can see, start seeing shit in slow motion. It's like, whoa, something is happening. But really, he's not seeing stuff in slow motion. His body is moving so fast that everything just seems so slow to him. And then he starts finding out something's really wrong time in his body. His, his body arms flipping around and everything. And then he starts finding out he can run really freaking fast. He becomes the Flash. And he finds out he actually uses these powers for the good. And he actually finds out that not only does he get these powers from that huge explosion. That huge explosion was actually a dimensional break that opens the world up. And all these villains from this different universe are colliding. And not only that, all these not only the universe colliding, but other people got powers. Not just him getting powers, but a lot of people getting powers. And that means more villains from the Flash universe are getting powers. And then this one dude he meets as a scientist. He looks like Professor X. I don't really know what he's going on. But uh, he's pretty much the Professor X of the series. And these other teenagers who weren't sure they were to be side characters along with the other hot chicks who's Flint Flash who's with a cop. Being outside with with him and I think there's gonna be a relationship between those two but I'm not really too sure and then he meets Green Arrow holy shit he meets Green Arrow in the series and Green Arrow I'm talking about Green Arrow from the show Arrow that is right the two shows actually collided is from the creators of the show Arrow so I didn't know actually know what they were gonna do with a person from Arrow but actually they did put the person from Arrow in there so that pretty much means that either they're gonna combine these shows into one thing or actually they're gonna throw these two characters into the Marvel un into the DC universe I'm sorry I thought Marvel but they're throwing them in the DC universe and they're gonna throw them in with the Superman movie or the next Superman movie after that in order to create the Justice League and they actually show him testing in all of his powers, and his powers look really cool. I mean, Flash can run fast as shit. I don't care. He, he can just throw so fast, he's exploding around cars and everything, breathe glass off there, and he can breathe through houses and everything, and he can even stop a fucking tornado. That was so cool. He actually ran so fast, spin around, 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 and he actually stopped the tornado completely by just dispersing the tornado by going in reserve first. And I think that's the season finale, but they really should have shown that at the season finale. Maybe it's the movie being the end. I don't really know. But anyway, after a while, he actually gets his real Flash shooting. He doesn't even call himself the Flash in the beginning. Actually, Green Arrow calls him the Flash. He never says his full name is I am the Flash or anything. He doesn't see anything like that. So we actually just have to assume he's going to call himself the Flash. People are going to call him the Flash. Maybe Green Arrow called him the Flash. He actually did. But he actually does get his, green, his Flash uniform. And I thought his Flash outfit was actually really cool. It was modernized. It was actually strong. It wasn't like some little frilly little suit costume or anything. That The stupid costume they give him in the beginning, that was pretty damn funny. But anyway, they give him a real legit superhero costume with a mask on it. But then he ends up ripping off the mask and then actually has the regular Flash mask. When it went my thoughts on the trailer, I thought the trailer was really cool. I thought it was a good opening for a really key-ass show. Some of the CGI in the show actually looked pretty shitty, but it's actually a lot, a hundred times better than a million other shows that I've seen with really shitty CGI. So hopefully this show will actually be really, really good. And um, I'm actually hoping... I got really hyped for this. I hope it's as good as Arrow, at least. And I really hope one thing they don't do about this character is they don't turn him into Batman like they did with freaking Green Arrow. I mean, Green Arrow was supposed to be a really sarcastic character. Same thing goes for the Flash. At least, I remember him. I remember watching Justice League on Cartoon Network, and that Flash, he was a comic relief the entire show. He always had something, something funny to say. He always had something stupid to say. He was always hitting on the ladies. Um, he was pretty much everything that Green Arrow I thought was going to be, but he wasn't. Uh, Green Arrow was more of a Batman, so hopefully they don't Batman this character and they keep his sarcastic nature like they did it with Spider-Man, made Spider-Man 2, and 1. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys see me on the next first impression slash review, whatever. I'll see you guys next time.